This was a massive study, not only because of the data that was being collected, but because of how Boeing and NASA did it. Essentially, these two airplanes were used as flying laboratories, collecting data while in the sky. Boeing's eco demonstrator took the lead. So the emissions are behind. So this is sampling the clean air that we're traveling through. Followed by NASA's DC-8 aircraft. The 17 different instruments that we use to sample emissions from the lead aircraft. They tested emissions or contrails with 100% sustainable aviation fuel and then conventional jet fuel. We're flying through the same air with one fuel and then we're turning around and coming back with the different fuel and we see a dramatic difference. An easy maneuver in theory. NASA has been doing these tests on the ground for more than a decade, but doing it in the sky is another story. It took three weeks of testing during five to six hour flights. In general, it was you know really driven by where forecasts would be good for that day for contrail formation or really again those test objectives, but we flew to Montana a lot, sometimes down the coast. While carbon impacts on aviation and the environment is well studied, there's still a lot we don't know about the impact of contrails. Having a clear understanding of how they contribute and what we can do to uh, reduce those emissions and reduce those contributions will help to uh, create a, a greener earth. There are good contrails, but this study specifically looks at reducing bad ones. So by burning sustainable aviation fuel, we could show that uh, the particle emissions are reduced, the ice crystal number in contrails is reduced, and that reduces the climate impact from contrails. Saying that this research gets them one step closer to fully sustainable planes. I think it was a great <laughs> success, really. According to NASA researchers, it will take months to analyze the data and compile a full report, though the results are promising. With these positive results, it's important to note that Boeing says it's still testing how sustainable aviation fuel impacts its planes. And with that said, is testing every single part that the fuel touches. So we're still a ways away from seeing planes operate on 100% sustainable aviation fuel. Here at Payne Field, I'm Kristen Goodwillie, King 5 News.